In This Week in Military History, we explore the Suez Crisis, an event that dealt Britain's global prestige a severe blow. In 1956, Egyptian leader Colonel Gamal Abdel Nasser announced his goal to nationalize the Franco-British Suez Canal Company. The Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean, and Nasser's move threatened British and French interest in the area, resulting in both parties agreeing that if negotiations failed, they would use force to occupy the canal and overthrowing Nasser if necessary. The original Franco-British plan was to land in Alexandria, heading towards Cairo and the port using an armoured column. However, a lack of supplies, armour and landing craft and aircraft led to a change in tactics. The British and French adapted and headed towards the canal, starting at port side. The Allies also made a secret pact with Israel, who would invade the Sinai Peninsula at the same time. On October 29th, Israel launched Operation Kadesh, invading the Sinai to allegedly stop Fedayeen terrorist incursions into Israel, but also to remove the Egyptian blockade of the Israeli port of El Abt. When Nasser refused to acquiesce to Britain and France's call for a ceasefire, British and French troops attacked. On November 5th, they captured the airfield at El Gamel and Port Fuad. November 6th saw the seaborne operations and the Allied forces continued to sweep down towards the canal, crushing what little Egyptian resistance there was. Meanwhile, a diplomatic firestorm was brewing as all this took place. The United States, fearful that an escalation would bring in the Soviet Union, demanded a ceasefire. The USSR threatened nuclear retaliation should the Allies not withdraw. The British financial system and oil supply took a direct and substantial hit from the crisis. The US threatened to call in their bonds and thus, combined with public protest against the conflict, compelled the British and the French to accept a ceasefire at midnight on November 6th. The British and French forces withdrew by December and Israel relinquished control over the canal to Egypt in March of 1957. This was the first time that a UN emergency force supervised the end of hostilities and the retreat of the respective warring forces. This conflict showcased the wavering influence of European powers and increased the influence of the US and the Soviet Union in global affairs. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.